all right what's up what's up what's up guys how y'all doing all right so as you guys saw previously we installed the bbk kit on the 240 from silver mine motors got the wheel woods in the front big old fatties wheel woods in the rear so as you guys remember i explained these two hooks on the rears are for the e-brake line so i went ahead and sourced <clears throat> a full e-brake assembly online and purchased it came with the handle the fitting and then i went ahead and sent it to a good friend of mine ed at control cables you guys all can do the same thing if you do this mod uh, you just contact him i'll leave his information right here you guys contact him and you would have to send in pretty much your back piece only these two i went ahead and sent them this whole thing but pretty much he goes ahead and remakes them to the way it would work with this brake kit. So you guys can see this is what goes on those hooks. And then he went ahead and fully crimped them and did whatever they need to do. Put some new wires in it, painted the brackets. As you guys can see, the new pieces which will attach to here. And we have our handle. So basically... What we're gonna do now is attach the handle to right here where it attaches to and then pass the line here, screw these down and then go underneath the car, connect these ends to that and those to the calipers. So I'll show you. First, I'm gonna connect this. All right guys, so we got the handle in. Sorry, I needed to use this light in order so you guys can actually, never mind. Do we got the handle on right here, as you guys can see, screwed in. And then I went ahead and ran the lines as well. So as you guys can see, it goes behind this arm right here. And then each of them come with a tab, which is which is this tab right here. You guys can see it was screwed in, so it holds it in place. This is passenger side. And then the driver side. It's the same thing. It's right. So driver side, same thing on the subframe right there. Gets mounted, and then for underneath the car. And then if you come underneath the car, as you guys can see right there, there's those two bolts that come out. Um, we went ahead and installed the e-brake heads right there. So those, the number one is on the left, number two is on the right. It'll be labeled too. And then just uh, go ahead and put them through the bracket as well. And they're hewed off like this. I'm going to zip tie them and hang them up higher. Just so it doesn't rub on the drive shaft. But yeah, pretty much it. You guys can see it came out this way. Now the one's that way. And it's passed up through here. Well, pretty much the next thing you want to do is uh, you're going to want to play with the slack on this and throw this end onto here, right here. The hook spring stays in the middle, and you want to pass the wire through here. So that way, when you pull this, tightens in. And when you do this to both sides, then you have to come here and in the e brake, this little hole, there's a nut in there. And then you have to turn that nut and that tightens the stretch between the lines. And you tighten it till you get to a desirable lock. I'm gonna do all this and then when it's all finished, I'll show you guys. It'll probably bleed tomorrow or the next day cause it's gonna get dark. All right guys, so on to the next day. So as you guys can see, I got the clip in, the back part in. There's like a little nipple that comes out. Make sure you squeeze that in. And uh, if you were like me, you had a hard time squeezing this in, you just use a flathead to lift it up. But we got both sides in, as well as the driver's side. And uh, so we brought the wire, and you guys remember originally. So I think I actually got an S13 e-brake, um, but I don't know, it might be S14. But what ended up happening was this, I couldn't get it all the way through. So as you guys can see, I cut the e-brake like that and uh, I put the screw in but yeah, it works fine like this gets fully tight releases so that's super cool 
and also underneath the car as you guys can see I passed those through and then on each corner I went ahead and self tapped it so it's held on so it won't rub on the drive shaft but uh, that's pretty much our e-brake install hit up at at control cables if you get these calipers and he'll make you a set anyways thank you for tuning in another s14 episode uh see y'all next week we got all the stuff for this car now guys so slowly we're just gonna put it together and we come into life bam see y'all next week peace